Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be doing another jigsaw puzzle time lapse. I've picked this Eat the Rainbow puzzle from Buffalo, 300 pieces. I'm pretty excited. I see some heirloom tomatoes in here, some blueberries, lots of fun things to feast your eyes on. We'll be doing an unboxing, then after that a time lapse, and lastly, my take on the puzzle. So feel free to skip ahead in the chapters below. But if you're still here, come on, let's go do the unboxing. All right, so let's get this puzzle open. I did notice this box was sealed pretty shut. No plastic wrap on this guy, but I'm gonna have to use my handy dandy tool to get it open. Urgh. Ah, strength. All right, let's get the cover off. Okay. No plastic wrapped pieces here, so I guess they were really relying on that cardboard glue to keep all the puzzles in pieces in place. But um, I'm pretty excited. Lots of cool colors are jumping out at me already. Let's take a look at the puzzle pieces. All right, I see uh, one out, three in, four ins. All right, so we've got some pretty good variety in terms of puzzle shapes already, which is pretty cool. Um, I do enjoy that. We've got a plain cardboard background. And let's do the slip test. Mm, feels pretty good on my puzzle mat. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know I like to move them around a lot as I do a puzzle. All right, let's get right to that time lapse. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that jigsaw puzzle time lapse. I sure had a great time doing the actual puzzle and it made me a little bit hungry. Um, I had a great experience with this buffalo puzzle. I don't think I had a single false fit, which means that every time I thought something went together, I felt that way with 100% confidence. Um, the pieces did tend to move a little bit when after I put them together, you guys might have caught me manhandling the pieces towards the end. So I was trying to like get rid of the gap that had happened as the uh, puzzle pieces moved at the end. But all in all, it was pretty easy. Um, the winning strategy by far was sorting by color. So I only had to look at a few pieces at a time um, and it helped me get through the puzzle quickly. That and having a pretty cool subject matter didn't hurt either. So is there anything on this puzzle you really want to eat? Anything you never touch? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, give me a subscribe. I'm about to start on my next puzzle and I wouldn't want you to miss it. I'll see you there.